and welcome to Elizabeth's Craft Room. Here's today's card and let's get started. This card is going to be in baked brown sugar um, and this is an A4 uh, cut in half um, and scored at um, 14.8 centimetres I think it is but basically it's just that's just folded in half. Okay and I'm going to use um, these lovely deco label um, framelits. Um, my new favourite ones at the moment. Um, so I'll just bring in the big shot and the magnetic platform. Here we go. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a piece of uh, very vanilla cardstock and I'm going to put all four of these framelits on there and cut them all in one go. One, two, and I'm, because I've got the magnet I can kind of adjust them so that they're as even as possible. Just love those magnets. Let's see how we're doing. Does that look about even to you? Doesn't look too bad to me from here. Um, so I'm just now going to run that through the big shot. Let's take those out. And put the platform to one side. Right, here we go. So now we have all the different frame shapes here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off um, by using this one as a bit of a guide as to where I want the centre one to be and um, to actually use this one as a bit of a mask so I'm just going to take some washi tape I think that looks straight because I didn't, didn't particularly have that one straight on the card but I think to me that looks fairly, so the thing's fairly straight. We'll see won't we when I stamp. Okay and I'm going to start off with the, um, the off the grid and I'm going to stamp that in baked brown sugar. So that's in the same colour as the cardstock. Of stamps of that and then I'm going to stamp with this one here out of Clockworks and this one I'm going to do with crumb cake so a little bit paler now well you can see that coming out And I want to go right up to the um, to the edges with that, so I'm actually going to take this one here, and I'm going to go back in with the, the baked brown sugar, but this time stamp off a little bit. So we've got a little kind of framed um, centrepiece here now. Now the next one I'm going to put it on is, is this one here, but I want to stamp it first. So I'm going to use um, this uh, image from um, the Gorgeous Grunge. I'm going to go with baked brown sugar again. How yummy is that? And then pick up some crumb cake. To do that. On this little one here, I'm going to do 
Oh. The clock face piece. Clock piece there. And then the clock face I've actually demounted because it's a lot easier to see where to put it. And I'm now going to pick up one of a brighter colour. I'm going to go with Bermuda Bay on this as well. So I'm going to pick up my Bermuda Bay and I want my arrow at the top because I know that's where my 12 is. Give that a stamp. And I've also got my uh, clock hands also demounted. You can see why it's just easier because you can see where you're going with them. So this makes it just that little bit easier. But that's not grungy enough, is it? So we're going to put some gorgeous grunge on there and I'm going to use this uh, big spotty one. I'm going to start off with crumb cake, which is my lighter colour. And I'm going to put that one over there. And then I'm going to take this one here. And that. And you can see where I'm going with this. I'm just kind of building up um, with some different layers of grunge. I think my background piece now I'm going to want to do some ink spots on that. Yeah, so I've actually lost that frame. You know I masked with the frame at the beginning. Yeah, lost that. <laughs> Are you laughing at me? It's really just because I want to sort of have a play and see how this is all going to go together, as you can tell. Um, but I, I think that's often the best way to create and the best way to come up with something that's a bit different. Um, and, you know, when people say to me, how do I come up with my ideas? Well, sometimes I come up with my ideas by looking at you and seeing what you've done and uh, seeing what my customers do and what with, with the, the goodies that they have and seeing what other demonstrators do. But other times, the best way is just to have a play. Gosh, how lovely, how lovely that is. Oh, it's lots on frame. I like splots on a frame. So I'm really just having a play and to, to see what looks good on this card. And probably four is probably a bit excessive, do you think? Or do you think more is more? I'm really liking this. Okay, so what I think this might need is a bit of, a little bit more of the colour. So I've got a couple of bits of ribbon here. Um, this one is the, um, the natural trim. Just great, isn't it, for a, a man card, which is what this really is. Um, although I'd be quite happy to receive it. So I'm going to actually gonna go for it and stick a couple of things down now. I'm going to do my splotty outline over here. And I think I'm going to put my ribbon, I think I'm going to attach some ribbon here. So, um, let's get a pair of scissors and just snip that piece off. And then I think I'll have some of the blue taffeta. Uh, this is the um, the same colour as the ink that I was using, which is Bermuda Bay. So I think we'll have a bit of that. Um, best way to adhere that is with a spot of snail. If you could see the rest of my desk, you would know why. I have no idea why my snail is. Here we go. At the moment I'm crafting how I really craft, which is in a mess. But sometimes that's just fun. Okay. 
I like that. I like that. So I want another little something with the Bermuda Bay. And I think that's going to be a little punched shape. Um, I'm going to go for a 7 8 um, circle. Yeah, I'm liking that. So another little bit of snail. To hold my ribbon down. The thing about the snail is you can pull it up and re redo it. And I'll have a little trim of that ribbon in a while. And we'll pop that on the top there. I think I'll pop that on like that. Now this one I think definitely needs to be daubed around the edge, so I'm going to take my baked brown sugar dauber and give that a little, a little daub. 